Hey gang, Diana here. Welcome to the studio. I have here, um, I, I'm sharing again an idea on organizing and also a sketchbook from Joggles today. So, hi gang, welcome to the studio. Diana here today with a organizing system or a binder system. And uh, the, the thing that spurred this on was a recent uh, purchase from Joggles, and that's this sketchbook that the pages come easily out. I will link the, the whole video up in the corner. And I also wanted to share with you, again, the system that I use. And this is... Originally, this was available from a company called Levenger, and all you really need is the hole punch and these discs. Now, the good news is this was an expensive thing, and I did buy it because I felt it was, it was a good thing for me, and I'll show you why. Now... Um, all of my online classes are stored in this system, so, uh, but I'm only going to show you a few today. And the one is the color binder. I'm in the process of actually changing this around and removing, I'm going to set up two extra binders, uh, one for watercolor and one for acrylic paints. And then uh, this is just getting a bit overloaded. So that's an organizing job I have to do. I've used these for online classes I've taken, such as Tim Holt's Creative Chemistry class. This book, I love this, this came from um, a student of mine. She, uh, they, two of them actually, young women, they were teenagers at the time and they were visiting, uh, Euro they were in Europe and they brought me back this, just a plain old notebook that had this wonderful cover on it. And when I was done with the book, I uh, cut the covers off, sent them through my laminator, and made another notebook out of this. So it, this is just plain paper, and this is a place where I can keep notes. So that brings, and, and the other thing is, of course, is you can make any size you want. The discs come in different sizes, and it's, it's a lot of fun. So now Staples sells uh, this system now, called, and it's called the ARC system, and I believe that the, it's much cheaper. I'm trying to remember where I punched this. We'll find out in a second if I'm right. So what you do, uh, there's two systems. Me and my big idea is Mambi. I'll link things. But the nice thing about this little um, sketchbook that Joggle sells is it comes with the six discs and filled with watercolor paper from Strathmore. Everything's punched and it's ready to go. So I just uh, thought it would be fun to fill it with some different papers too. So I'm using watercolor paper here and I'm just punching and putting that right into my book. One of the things that really appeals to me about keeping a sketchbook in this way is that I can use off cuts of watercolor paper and have a different type of page in my book. I have a piece of black paper here that I can use. So this takes the idea of Joggle's disc-bound sketchbook and if you add a punch to it the less expensive one from Arc or or uh, Mambi, it's it really creates a really cool sketchbook. I've added some papers from this My Favorite Things pack, and I really love this paper. It's called Off the Grid, and it's absolutely perfect for something like this journal. So I've just thrown a few pages in here, 
and um, let's see, of course I can't find them. So I have space I could put just stamping on this and writing on this if I wanted to. This is um, a really good way to go. And then, oh, or you could use regular loose leaf paper. Uh, I chose some six by six paper pads. So I chose these two for covers. I have this Tim Holtz clipping set. I love this. I really do. And I think I'm going to use this word right here, exploring. It just seems like the perfect word for this. Should I put it in the middle or should I put it at the end? Uh, we'll put it right there. Okay, I'm going to come and go ahead and laminate these. Just a quick note, I'm using a, a Royal Sovereign laminator. I think the scotch is just as good. I had a scotch for years and as you can see, I slipped this paper into the pouch and I'm just going to cut away this excess. And then you can use this excess pay, uh, laminating pouch for anything else, but just give it a rough cut, leaving a good margin so we can do a squared up cut after it's laminated. Now once it's laminated, just find the uh, true edge and trim a bit off of this. It's going to wind up being, whoops, just a little bit larger than your book and this is something that you want, uh, generally speaking, just as a protection. Book, if you look at any book, you'll see that the covers are slightly larger than the book itself. Okay, so that's perfect. So if you're new to my channel, I do a lot of different kinds of videos. I do art journaling, I do watercolor, I do cards, and I do book binding as well. And to me, this is a perfect little book that you can actually add paper to. I'm going to add some Yupo paper to this and uh, probably some other kinds of paper too. So come along on this journey with me. I look forward to getting started with this new little exploring notebook. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this video if you did enjoy the content. And um, I love to hear from you. So comment and share if you think your friends might enjoy this too. See you soon.